it was called the IAASTD, the International Assessment for the Role of Agricultural Science, Knowledge, and Technology in a Development. And it was basically, what's the answer for world agriculture? And after a four-year process in 2008, the final report came out, and they basically said that the answer is not high-tech. It's uh, genetic engineering is not going to save agriculture. Neither is nanotechnology or these high-tech solutions. But the answer is these more ecologically rational agroecology. Uh, the question is... Can organic, uh, sustainable agroecology feed the world? Sure it can. And I know this because I was involved myself in a lot of research in Africa. We have quadrupled, I mean, up to even 10 times more yield, totally sustainable, organic actually, by doing the right thing and by building soil. So the yields go up year after year to reach levels which if every African farmer, let's say, would produce according to some of those systems, there will be plenty of food around for everybody. But, there's a but here too, it doesn't fill the pockets of a few um, business people. This helps the farmer and the consumer. And we have to widen this stem to make sure that there's more connections from farm to consumer and also more people in between. It's important because agriculture needs input output no matter what you do. Yeah, once a week we